All right, on today's episode of McDougal's Math, we're going to be working with percentages a bit more. For today, we're going to be talking about commission in the workplace. So, types of jobs that are based on commission are people who work in sales, um, might add into the restaurant business, um, I know people at my gym sometimes work on commission. Why am I writing commission again? People at my gym. And where else? More often than not, I've personally always heard commission being car sales. In fact, there's a story I told my kids. I remember um, growing up watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Will Smith ended up getting a commission-based job where he'd get money really, really quick because he'd be really good at selling cars. Hopefully I'm not just making this up. Pretty sure I'm not. But there were some days where he just did not make the money based on not being able to sell things. So you kind of have to weigh your options. If you're offered a job based on commission, you have the chance to earn, you know, earn a little bit extra money, but understand that it may not come all the time. So let's start with this. Give up a problem here. Let's say my name, I'm McDougal. McDougal is paid on commission only. That means I'm only going to make money if I sell things. Now, I've never worked a commission job personally, so I don't know what a good commission rate is. Let's pretend my boss likes me and I'm selling cars and I'm going to earn a commission rate of, let's say, 5%. What happens when I sell, say in one month, I'm only good enough to sell one car a month. I don't really know how it works. Selling a car is going to bring in my company, make an expensive car, a $45,000 car. I don't even know what kind that is. I want to figure out how much I'm going to earn from selling this car. So just like we did in our activity on sales tax and some of the percent increase and decrease, we are going to say what is 5% of 45,000? What is 5% of 45,000? Some simple multiplication. Zero, zero, zero. Move my decimal place over. Wow, I'm going to earn $2,250 just for selling that car. Just for selling that car. Not bad in percentage. We've worked on it in a while. Now, another scenario that's going to kind of encourage you to work a little bit harder, just like this. If you don't do anything, you're probably going to get fired, but some people might get a basic salary. Let's pretend I am paid weekly. Let's just say I'm paid weekly. Three hundred bucks. I don't know what I do. I've got a random job. You can make it up on your own. Paid three hundred bucks weekly just for showing up. I'm paid at a rate of a 2% rate based on what I sell. And during this week, I'm going to bring in about, maybe I'm a really good salesman. I'm going to bring in $5,000 worth of stuff just this week. How much do I earn at the end of the week Total, how much do I earn total? So first, I'm going to say I need to find out what 2% is. So $5,000 times 2% gives me 100 bucks. 
All right. So this week, I'm going to earn $100. Hold on. That's not right. How much am I going to earn in the week total? Just for showing up. My salary, just for showing up, is 300 Now I need to add my commission to that. How much do I earn during this week? $400. And this can be done the same way with just another problem. Let's give me a rate of, next number I see, how about 13%? Someone likes me. 13% and I'm selling this week, let's give it a smaller number this time. I'm selling $2,600 worth of stuff. And my weekly salary is $210. How much am I going to earn during the week total? So find out what my rate is, find out what my commission is. Does one place over. So my commission is going to be, let's color code it, my commission is going to be $138 plus my weekly salary. Gives me $348. Now what I really want to do, keep in mind, if you're getting that commission-based salary, it's really important. Be good seller. Push those items. I've never worked one of those jobs. So I've had a whole bunch of other jobs that either paid very little or was a stipend. So, or the teacher salary. Woo! All right. If I keep talking like this, I'm just going to keep ranting. I hope you are able to understand what's going on here. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of McNichols Math. See you next class.